<laughs> Whenever you all are ready, can you talk through what you built? So we made Linus, and the idea of Linus... That's the that, name of the robot? Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, the idea is that it's a robot where you can give it any image. Okay. It'll do image processing on it, and then it will draw you that image on a piece of paper using one line, in like a one line style. Okay. Okay. You can give it any image. So, yeah, we're going to give you a test image right now. Yeah. So, this so, is the test image. Yeah, so this is like a pretty basic test image that we just started out with to like make sure that we could draw something that like seemed like kind of cartoonish already. Uh -huh. Um, and so what it will first do is it'll go through and kind of like, uh, like find edges and like features and skeletonize it. Uh, and then it like represents it as like a graph problem, um, where these like corner points of like intersections of like different ways that you can go are like, uh, nodes in the subgraph. Okay. And then edges are like these different like curves that you can take to get between nodes. And then it becomes like a kind of traveling salesman problem where the idea is try to, to try to like hit all of these curves optimally uh, without like going over too much. And then also um, you have like different like kind of like distinct clusters here, uh -huh. which are like separated by an area that you can't like cover with the pen without like going over like white surface. And so there we did additional optimization to like figure out what's like the most optimal route in like terms of which order to draw these and then also like where to go on the first one to like f like fastest get to the second one. And you like kind of okay. see. Um, so like we have like kind of like a slicer here. Um, so you can see a simulation of what it looks like on my computer. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah, so you can see over so here. So you've minimized the amount that you need to sort of traverse the white space. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then what we have is we have a Raspberry Pi sitting over there. Uh -huh. um, and what we can do is we can run this program on the Raspberry Pi and we have like a serial, like a UART stream into our Pico. Okay. Um, and so it'll kind of stream uh, target locations one at a time. So it'll like send a target location or like a buffer of target locations and the Pico will receive it. And then once it's like reached a certain threshold uh, of like distance to the next one, it'll like send a message saying like we're ready and we'll receive the next one. Okay. okay. Um, and the reason for this is because we discovered that the Pico can handle the entire stream of targets at once uh, okay. in its memory. So I can try to run that right now. So you're running that slicing program on this Raspberry Pi? Yeah. Yep. Okay, which is generating a series <coughs> of points to traverse and in order to traverse them and communicating it over to this Pico. Um, so if we unplug this and then plug this back in, we'll start streaming and you can see on here uh, that it starts moving around. Then you can see that it starts streaming around. Yeah, like here I can get that. Okay, you want to start trying? Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's a, Sharpie's it's not quite well enough. Yeah, Okay. 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 So the marker's pivoting just a little bit, yeah. but yeah. but that that's fine.
That is really neat. We can run it again if you want, but it's, yeah, we have like a couple other. It's uh. That's really nice. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. So, um, let's do that again with the uh, other images. Or one of the other images too. Yeah. Like I'll show you another version of this. Okay. That we have is this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um Panther Squidward. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's like clearly more <laughs> um complicated to draw. So uh and like one of the goals here is to try to like make it like as simplified of an image as possible while like retaining your ability to like see what's going on. Uh -huh. Kind of in like the one line drawing style. Uh -huh. So we had to like kind of tune like how much simplification do we want to do to our image. Um and so I'll just like run this directly on there. Okay. It's actually a separate cluster. Okay. So it has to figure out where to go on the first. Yeah. So like, yeah. So like these like extra lines that are appearing. <coughs>
That is really cool. So the, the scan back along an already drawn line is really what tells you quite accurate. Yeah. 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 So, Hunter, this is for you. Wow. <laughs> You Thank you so much. I will cherish it. And so you can compare that to the original <laughs> as well, um, and see that you're only taking the features that are important yeah, from it, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and you're leaving out everything else. That is really nice. Yeah. yeah. We also have it working on like some other uh, test images that we could try if you wanted. That was about Barack Obama. Yeah. Very cool. And so you've got the mechanically you've got two stepper motors here yeah so it's just belt drive um on on this axis uh you're moving like this whole axis uh -huh. in this direction and this way you're just moving the pen uh-huh but kind of in both cases it's just uh a stepper motor and a belt drive on like a like a gear and a pulley basically and an idler very nice and these are all 3d printed parts of those are all 3d printed parts that um we catted ourselves in imprinted um and then uh these are these are all the shelf but, yeah. yeah really cool we got this project i think under i think pretty well under 100 bucks right yes yeah like yeah, yeah, something yeah it seems that way this. yeah yeah awesome that is just really cool thank you thank you awesome thanks guys thank you